Good morning, my friends. It is Friday of the 17th week at Ordinary Time. And today I'd like to reflect on why do we believe what we believe? So many people today will believe in what they read on Facebook. So many people will believe what they read in Twitter, Instagram, uh, tabloids, <laughs> Uh, different sources of the internet, Google, and yet we have a hard time believing God. We have a hard time believing what the Bible teaches. We have a hard time believing what the church teaches. Why is that? It's fascinating to me. And I've started to reflect on why do I believe what the Bible reveals? Why do I believe the church? Why do, we, why do I believe God? Um, it came because this gospel today is Matthew chapter 13. Jesus, Jesus goes back to his native place, taught in the synagogue, and they were astonished. And so they're, they're hearing these amazing words, but then they start to question, you know, isn't he the carpenter's son? Where did he get these mighty deeds? Isn't uh, his mother named Mary and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas are not all his sisters with us? Where did this man get all this question and doubt rather than saying, wow, this is the anointed one. This is the Messiah, they question. And they took offense at him. There was something about the truth, his wisdom, that maybe it was jealousy, not sure what it was, but we see it today, don't we? When, when somebody preaches the truth, when somebody is a, a messenger of God, there's going to be people who get offended uh, by their teachings. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. So I know, I, you know, coming back to Joliet where I was born and raised, there's people here who know me since I was a, a little boy. Um, they've probably seen, you know, many of my, my faults, failings, and sins. And it could be hard, but Jesus didn't sin. And, but they did know his family, knew his mother, knew his, they call them brothers and sisters, which is another word for extended family, like cousins and, and beyond. It says he didn't work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. I want us to have faith. I want us to believe that he is the one. I want us to believe that his body, uh, blood, soul, and divinity is in this tabernacle behind me in the Eucharist. I want us to believe that, you know, the angel Gabriel appeared to this teenage girl named Mary and said, and, you know, through the power of the Holy Spirit, God became man in her womb. I want us to believe that Jesus, the Son of God, suffered and died, rose to new life, ascended into heaven to save us. I want us to believe that through our baptism, we have the Holy Spirit living inside of us the very life of God who wants to guide us. Why do I believe these things? I jotted down a few things because I'm a, I'm a math, math mathematician, I'm a scientist. Um, I often want to have proof. Why do I believe? Well, this is why I believe. Um, one are the fulfilled prophecies to see that if you read the Old Testament and all the things that they were pointing to, they're all fulfilled in Jesus. And sometimes it boggles my mind, uh, God's wisdom and how he orchestrated all of that, you know, about this Messiah being born in David's line, uh, about the, the suffering servant in Isaiah, you know, the one that would be crucified for our sake, watching the sunlight come in behind me. Why, why else do I believe? Eucharistic miracles that scientifically have been proven where the, the bread becomes human flesh of the heart, where the wine becomes human blood, type AB blood, where this heart and this flesh and blood come from someone that has been tortured. Um, always the same findings in these different miracles that happen around the world. Why else do I believe? I personally have experienced miracles. I personally have experienced the abundance of God's fruits of the Holy Spirit, peace, joy, and love especially. Once I made God the center of my life, 
I've experienced this peace that goes beyond all understanding. And another reason I believe is that it makes sense. This isn't something that uh, is hard, well, not hard to believe, because sometimes things are, are challenging to put our faith in someone that we, we can't see. But as I study all of this, it all makes sense. So I encourage you to pray, to study, to learn and encounter the person of Jesus Christ and he will, he will show you himself. He will reveal himself to you. And let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for the gift of faith. Increase our faith and trust in you. Help us to believe and let us rid ourselves of our disbelief. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day, and we will see you tomorrow.